Okay, this is a great toilet for the barn. It hooks into the top of that holding tank there, but that holding tank isn't but just that big. So you end up having to take the toilet apart and uh, take this and dump it somewhere, and it's just, it's just a mess. So what I'm doing is I bought a, uh, you know, one of these portable uh, smart tote. It's an 18-gallon tank. And this uh, this piece here just folds down, and your hose comes out, and then you just hook this in to you know you're supposed to hook it into your RV, or if you're you know set up in a park and you don't want to move and go dump your tanks. But what I'm going to do is in the bottom of this tank right here, I'm drilling holes. This is the bottom side of the tank. And I'm going to uh, drill a hole and set me a valve right here, just like that. And then on top of that, this right here will go. And then this fitting here fits in to this fitting here. And it'll just be sitting just like that on the bottom of a plywood floor. And then when this tank fills up, which will take a long time out here in the barn because there's not very many people using the bathroom. Uh, I'll just un I'll close that valve, unhook the hose, and roll this over to the septic system and dump it out. So I got the bottom hole cut and I realized that this plastic is just a little, it's going to be too soft, so I made me some washers got some uh, black plastic and that'll just go right down that hole and then that'll support from the underneath side to where when you get you know four of those that size under there that'll hold it tight so there's the valve on the bottom of the toilet and it operates just fine and dandy everything's going good I got those bolts siliconed in from the top and I'll let them, I just got this temporarily set so that silicone will dry and I'm going to fasten this on the bottom, it'll just be right on the bottom of that right there, take those nuts back off and another little rubber washer. Well there it is, it's all finished, siliconed in, I got rubber washers around, my, around the inside around my bolts. Got gaskets between each side. That uh, gate valve works perfect. And that's the bottom of the holding tank. So now I just build a frame and set this right down, right flat, just like this on a platform. And then once it's sitting there, I just hook that uh, portable tank up to the bottom of that. Whenever this small holding tank here gets full, I just pull this lever, dump it into that, and then take this and uh, just pick up the handle here and roll it right out, roll it right out to the dump station. Now if I can help you with the bathroom in your barn, just give me a call, Mike the Handyman, Burleson Handyman. 817-229-1853. This uh, total project probably, probably maybe $500 for the sink and the, the electric flush toilet and the tank. So that's quite a difference in uh, putting in a whole septic system and all that just for your barn. You know, save $4,500. So give me a call if I can help you.